welcome back to the channel everybody i have a doozy a doozy for you today man and again the chicago land companies just love taking advantage of you guys <laughs> And you guys keep fall for a banana in the tailpipe. How many times Uncle Lockout has to tell you to be careful of those black op companies, man? How many times I have to tell you to do your research about these companies? To just go beyond of what they're saying on the Facebook posts or sponsored ads or TikToks or Instagrams. Go beyond what you see. Do your research, people. This company, shout out to the Facebook group, CDL Drivers Looking for Work. I came across this interesting story. Fremont Trans out of Donners Grove, Illinois. They want you to keep the wheels turning by using old drivers. In other words, they want you to use the ELD with a ghost rider so that you can keep the wheels turning. And for some reason, the guy that was working for him obviously didn't turn out to be the guy that they was looking for. In this post right here, there were several text messages that was going back and forth between the driver and whoever he was talking to. I'm, I'm going to assume it was dispatch. But again, this is for you guys to know about another black ops company taking advantage of drivers out here. And all they care about is keeping them wheels turning. Not as much, not, not as much as keeping money in your pocket, because obviously this driver did not get paid. But here's the conversation between the driver and I'm I'm gonna assume it's a dispatcher. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You are just one mile away from the yard. So please go to the trailer yard, drop the trailer, and bobtail to the office. We will change the ELD for you. Then they gave him the address to the trailer yard, which is in Illinois. It also says, also at the same time, you can grab the original BOLs and bring them to the office. And this is at 7.58 a.m. The person says, okay, they came to their truck. They noticed that it's a boot on their truck. He took a picture and sent it to him. He says, I got a lock on the truck. I got a call saying I'm not a good driver and being let go. What's going on? I don't understand. I, I thought I was doing a good job late one time on a delivery because i ran out of hours to drive please call me this is at 9 50 a.m i'm assuming again this is the dispatcher he came back and said sorry larry but the manager said that we can't work with you missing delivery appointments not doing the miles you are free to go this is at 10 09 a.m i guess this is larry he came back and said wow okay i missed one delivery since i started two weeks ago only because i didn't have legal hours to make it i have yet to be paid though i know i didn't do anything wrong but if this company doesn't want to play by the rules via fmcsa eld laws session 398 i don't want to work here my license is everything. These rules are here for a reason. I will catch up to this company. I am cleaning out my truck now. Cut me my paycheck. And then a couple of pictures he took of the yard. And by these pictures, man, these these trucks look like they're tore up. There's look like one that was in an accident, a bad accident that's covered up by a blue tarp. But he also have his truck. He cleaned out his truck see this picture right here let me explain something and i know a lot of you guys I'm, I'm just gonna throw it out there you guys are homeless man and i i understand it and it's in the, and you're the guys that they're looking for they looking for homeless desperate drivers that's who they looking for they looking for you they looking for drivers like you that has nowhere else to turn and they know that they can use you to their advantage because they know that you 
can't go nowhere else up under the circumstances that you may be in. And right here, it looks like you got everything in the kitchen sink, bruh. And I keep telling you guys from back in the day, don't pack. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. This is heavy work right here. This is he There's that word again, heavy. It's heavy work. You won't be able to get all this on a bus, on a plane. Maybe if you rent a car, you may be able to get all that in the car. But you won't be able to get all that on a bus, on a train. You you just won't, okay? Pack light. You don't need all this stuff, bro. Well, what is this? What, what's going on in this picture? He got a lot of stuff. You guys got a lot of stuff sticking out. I got a lot of holes going in. Okay, a lot of stuff. And all you guys need is just your duffel bag, <laughs> gold bag, book bag, and a hygiene bag. That's it. That's all y'all need. Y'all don't need nothing else. Y'all don't need nothing else but that. Especially with a new company that you're not even sure how they're going to treat you. Two weeks out and he's already let go. All because he's unwilling to run the hours or to quote unquote run with a, with a co-driver. And they have these co-drivers right here that you can, that you can select from. People with names, Jerome, Mitchell, Darnell, Michael. See, this is another thing that they use. They, they use your information. So you gotta be careful who you give your information to. Now, Larry, that just was let go, now they got his information. And of course, they are gonna use it to their advantage and add it to the list of ghost drivers that you are gonna use. It's sad, man. Another driver came in and said that this happened to him four months ago. So listen to his story and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Hear the music. Listen and please read, Fremont Trans is PKR Trucking. This happened to me four months ago in Montana. They are forcing you to use ghost driver logs. I worked two weeks. On the third week in Montana, they can't find a load and asked me to take the truck back to Chicago. On the way back, I was stopped by a Don entering SD at a rest stop and he asked if I had a co-driver. I said no. He did a level three and called me in the patrol car and said, this company Fremont Trans is closely monitored by the feds and is pending investigation and will be shut down soon. Take this truck back to the yard. Do not pick up any loads. Pack your things and get out. Leave the money, just get the hell out of the company, I said okay, and I did exactly that. They put on a third-party website that I drive empty from Montana to Chicago and overall a waste of time, but I was able to get it removed. God alone knows how they are still in business, but our government only cares about money, not their citizens. Whatever you do, do not work for them. As a matter of fact, stay out of Chicago companies, period. Let's get the conversation started. Have you guys been in a situation like this? I know a few of you have. A few of you reached out and y'all can still reach out and share your story with us on the Lockout Men channel. You can do that by hitting me up in the Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcastguest at gmail.com if you like to talk or if you just like to share the story and I can get it out there. You can also hit the channel number, which is 216 60020 nine zero and let me know what you guys think of this situation that happened to this driver again these black ops companies is no good it's no good they're looking for you driver they're looking for the desperate driver they're looking for the homeless driver they're looking for the driver that will do anything type driver they don't want to be bothered with you if you're not going to confirm to their way of running and their way of running is to constantly keep them wheels turning. They don't care about you not sleeping. They don't care about the safety of the load. They don't care about the safety of the driver. They only care about the money that you can make for them, i.e. you can make for them. Because obviously when they let you go, the money that you made for them is not gonna reciprocate back into your pocket. Just know that you need to do your research and go beyond of the ad that they're showing in places like Indie, Craigslist, Facebook, and more. That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, everybody.